Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about toggle management in Pega. So let's get started into the topic. So what is toggle and how it is useful? Suppose you are developing a feature and some of the users wants to use that feature for some days and after some review they want to turn off that feature. So we do have branches and in branches that is useful for only development purpose and in our development environment it is there. Suppose there is a scenario where in production you have deployed something, we have to enable that on few days and later that we want to turn off that respective feature. In these particular instances you can't have branches in production. So Pega has come up with a option called as toggle management. To access toggle management go to configure system release toggles. So you will be navigated to toggle management page. So here you can see a feature toggle allows you to turn a feature on or off for a subset of users or for an entire access group also. So here these are OTB toggles that are available in the system. Now I want to create a new toggle and here I have to select application context because a particular application might be having different application context. So you can select whatever you want. This is toggle identifier. You can give some name to it. And this is description. This is epic ID. This is nothing but uh, suppose you are working on a feature that is associated with some user story or some bug or some epic piece. Then you can define this. This question mark represents the same. Suppose I am working on some 24765 user story. And this like to whom this particular toggle is applicable for means to whom this particular functionality should be available. Is it for everyone or only to this access group or only to myself? This one. Okay. Now I have to select which piece of code I have to make it enable like suppose if it is a branch i can select some branch over here and this is the rule set suppose if it is a rule set version i just select a development branches no branch and this is a rule set and this is over over no three so you are having a feature that contains around 30 to 40 rules and that 30 to 40 rules you want to maintain in separate rule set and that rule set you can make it enable so during uh, Pega runtime, the engine sees whether this particular feature should be available or not through this toggle management also and it will act based upon it. And here you can see this is a checkbox. This toggle will reference by rules creates a when rule automatically. You can select this and now if I click submit. Sorry, I should not have spaces over there. See, this is toggle that we have created. And this is band rule that is created automatically by Pega. You can customize this band rule if you want. And you can provide that. And you can edit this toggle references as well. Okay. And you can delete this as well. And this when rule, you can use uh, somewhere. Suppose you are providing some button. Okay. And that button should be displayed uh, based on this uh, toggle functionality. But that particular sections are in some other class. Then you can use this uh, when rule. And if it returns true, then only that particular button will be displayed. In this way, you can play around this uh, toggle functionality. And see here, you can see status as on. If I want to switch off this toggle, I can do this and click submit. Now you can see it is updated as off. Hope you have learned a new feature in Pega that plays around uh, turning on or turning off a feature.
to a set of users or to all the users that are available in the application or only to a single user as well and it would be good practice if you try a example of this toggle with uh, a feature that is available in your application and post your comments uh, on this video you can study about toggle management uh, more precisely in this particular page i would be adding this link in our description of the video thanks for watching this video please share like and comment your feedback and stay tuned to this channel